Hi, welcome to uh, Investing with JYK, and uh, today I'll talk about something that I don't quite understand, and I'm looking for your input. So, logically, when I think about gold prices, um, it makes sense that if the the um, real yield is high, then gold price should be suppressed. Um, because given a certain amount of inflation, if you get a re real yield is basically nominal yield minus inflation. And if you get a real yield, then you have a, an actually a, a, a opportunity cost to hold gold. You would think that um, you have less incentive to hold gold because you can hold a, for example, in this case, a 10 year tips to generate uh, at the same time hedging out the inflation and generate a real income. Uh, so you have less incentive to buy gold. But when real yield is low or even negative, you want to hold gold because inflation is eating away. Uh, your uh, inflation is really like eating away your your income so eating away your asset right but gold uh, does not get affected by inflation in, in, in the sense that it's like inflation uh, neutral so even if inflation increases if you have an inflation uh, gold's price typically increases uh, at the same pace as inflation so that's that basically uh, hedges away the, the risk of inflation and you would have more incentive of holding gold. Uh, but if the if you have an inf if you have a uh, lower real yield real rate um, or in this case tips, then your opportunity cost of holding gold actually goes down and you would prefer to hold gold and maybe that would drive up the gold price but that's not what's happening there's a there seems, seems to be a um it, it, there seems to be a positive correlation between these two so when you look at gold's price change year over year um, you get a 20% price change for all the this time when the real yield is is um, 2% or even more and then you get a, a negative or 0% a year over year change when your real yield and and this is what's even more telling. You got a you got a negative real yield in two thousand twelve, and you got a delayed, slightly delayed, a negative gold price movement in two thousand thirteen. So these two graphs look surprisingly positively correlated with a bit of a shift maybe like a year to the right if you look at these two number things it's 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 uncanny so i don't really know what to make of these numbers i mean if you look at something like real yield uh, real yield curve or real yield chart or something like that, like that. Uh, your interest rate Damn it. real yield chart and this is as close as you can get but uh, real yield curves right and then This is no, I don't want this. Mm. 
this is what I was looking at. You can see it was falling off, so that I mean the the dates are somewhat off because this doesn't go back far enough. But this basically is this graph from 2010 uh, ish. 2010-ish is a drop all the way down to 2012 November all the way down to 2012 November it comes back up comes back up actually I can just change this to 2009 and you can see it to then is it 2009 2010 more like 2010 okay so these two graph look almost exactly the same right so yeah so that is very surprising I would have imagined that the gold would go up when your real yield is close to zero or even negative and the opposite real interest rate right the opposite is happening You're gonna drop when you have a negative real yield so enlighten me my uh, viewers tell me where my understanding is wrong I mean I understand I'm often wrong so thank you very much and see you next time